But still, how we tie in with the black history and how we had the slave revolt and the slaves to fight for the rights. And then it showed about how a baron now, he moved on the end of the South of black history in that he put black business on his map through independence. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the things that he would have had implemented in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s are still going in 2015, okay. including free school meals, well, partial free education, but still free in some aspects, primary, and so on. Right? With the, um, the ministers of education, and to a greater extent, the Prime Minister, some people never even heard of Erskine Sandiford as a Prime Minister, but I was able to come over here. You mean these are the children? Yes. Mm-hmm. I was able then to come here to the, to the Ministers of Education mm-hmm. and show that he was a well-known public figure even before he became Prime Minister. But Miss Cox, mm-hmm. you know that this man, um, Dr. Hugh Gordon Cummings. Yes. I never knew of him. Mm-hmm. And when it, they had the ABC highway, mm-hmm. I said, who's this Cummings? Who's this mm-hmm. Cummings? Mm-hmm. Adams, Barrow, mm-hmm. Cummings. Mm-hmm. And I was the most surprised. I only learned of him as an adult. Mm-hmm. Well, I show the children that these two state figures here, mm-hmm. Granny Adams and um, Gordon Cummings, they were premiers uh-huh. before we became independent. Right. So this, these are actually two of our leaders. Although we stressed from Barrow down, mm-hmm. I let them see that the two of these were also our great leaders mm-hmm. who did a lot for the country as well. And I told them that Gordon Cummings has an um, old people's home. Right. In his name. And I told them I think he has party how you I wasn't quite sure about Yes. It. Yes, in his name. <laughs> right. So I showed them there that because you know these are young children and mm-hmm. they will not be so familiar with this person. I even told them from the time you leave Barbados, the last name you see when you before you step off the island is Grand Island. Mm-hmm. And the first name you see uh-huh. when you come into the island Bradley Adams again, right. the airport. <laughs> no, some children didn't know he had a, a, a national address. Hmm. Some children didn't know that. So he had to show them that. Right, so um, some of these here, these um, folders, mm-hmm. the children researched this material themselves. Okay. These folders on Arab Barrow. These were researched from January. Okay. And they it tied them in into the black history. Okay. Wonderful. This man here, boy, okay, so why don't we get this?